Hey friend, meet Mr. Rob who is going to configure NDMP backup that is remote MDMP and from the flow diagram we have a NDMP net backup server we have a tape library attached to it we have a storage device which is acting as a NDMP host and disk attached to it uh, we are taking this backup on LAN let me take you to Rob's screen and Rob will show us how he's gonna configure Andy MP backup. Hey friends, in this video I will configure remote Andy MP backup and in this environment we have a NetApp 1 which is filer called Andy MP host in this case and we have a backup server called uh, backup server 1 which is net backup master server or NDMP net backup for NDMP server and for configuring NDMP backup uh, first of all we need to do some settings on NetApp filer so I will tell you how to configure settings on uh, which type of settings required on uh, NetApp filer So this is our NetApp 1 filer and we will check all the NDMP options. So for this we have a command NDMP option NDMP. So these are the NDMP option. So NDMP.xs is all in this case and we have these options. Now we should have one NDMP services on on this ND NetApp 1 filer. For this we need to put command netapp ndmpd status ndmpd status so ndmp services already on so in case if it is off like this so you need to on this services so put command ndmpd on and do NDMP status. Right now we we don't have any NDMP active session. So these are the things we need to done on the NetApp side. Now I will take you to the backup server side here. So this is the command command line of backup server. So in to configure a NDMP backup we have two ways. One is from GUI and another way is from CLI. In this video, I will configure it from CLI. From GUI, you need to add that NDMP host credential here. Go to Action, New, New NDMP host, and here you need to type NetApp1 and its server and its password and user ID. But I will do this from CLI. So in CLI, we have a command called tpconfig-add-nh. So this is our filer name ND netapp1 user id and password so i will i'm going execute this command so we have we we are added this netapp1 filer now we'll check whether it has been successfully added or not this is the most important command in any NDMP backup TP autocon hyphen verify filer name because this will check whether you have a session you can establish session for with netapp1 net filer or not and this is the main important command in every NDMP backup let's execute this command here it is showing that login was successful so credentials was verified and it can support all three types of backup now go to activity monitor and see any backup is running no we don't have any backup running now we will create one policy called ndmp backup policy go to action new new policy and here we will configure test ndmp one NetApp policy 
policy storage unit we have only one storage unit available the most important is we should select NDMP policy here and all these settings it's depend upon your configuration allow multiple data stream we can do now on the schedule tab just create one schedule uh, you can sh create your own schedule I'm creating a full full backup schedule full NDMP here and uh, it's frequency it's calendar schedule you any type you want and its retention uh, like this I'm not scheduling it I will take a manual backup select ok now in client tab in client tab just add that NDMP host which is NetApp 1 in this case NetApp 1 and select the hardware and operating system as NDMP NDMP click OK now go to backup selection tab and add the volume name so how will you find a volume name just go to NetApp filer put command df hyphen vg so these are the volumes available on NetApp side on the NDMP filer side uh, you can use command wall status as well wall status these are the volumes available on the NetApp 1 filer side now I will add this path to backup selection we have copied it now go to go to backup selection tab and click new paste your file paste your selection volume that is and click ok so it is added make sure there would be no spaces in between okay now just we will execute this policy take manual backup we have started this backup till the time backup is running I'm gonna pause this video and will show you how this backup uh, running and will show you the detailed status about this backup So let's check our backup whether it has been completed or not so our backup is completed see our backup is completed so basically it execute in two streams one or two one is parent stream other one is child stream and we can see the detail status here in every NDMP backup it will create a dump so whenever dump is executing if you put command ndmpd status on the filer side here here you will see one session here so we have missed that believe me you will see some session here when you uh, put a ndmp status command whenever the dump is executing net, tap, net backup dump so in this way we can configure ndmp remote backup thanks thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe